Hi, I'm Wendy Sweet. And I'm Bill Fairman. And we are welcoming you to our show today. We wanted to do a quick little covering of the benefits and the dangers of leverage in a fund. Yes. That's really important, right? Yes. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about that, Brother Bill? Okay, is it, is it my turn? It's your turn. And then, oh, go ahead. I'm just kidding. I, I always have to talk about the boring <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay. It's because you know it all. Yes, I do. <laughs> Once again, I'm not a tax professional or an attorney. This is purely for educational purposes. And fun. But I've been in the mortgage business for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had some really good mentors in the fund yes. business as well. People who have been there, done that, and have gone to the bottom and come right back up mm -hmm. because they were at the top in the first place. Right. Uh, markets change, mm -hmm. things change, and these are things I like to talk about. So you'll have them in the back of your mind when you are investing in a fund. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things good. about leverage that you need to be aware of. And what do I mean by leverage? So in a fund structure, a fund, let's say, for example, you have a $10 million fund, mm -hmm. which means you're kind of limited to what you can do with $10 million. Uh, if you're doing, you know, $40 million a year in loans, and if they're all four month loans, then you might be able to use $10 million a year because you're turning it over four times. Right. But in reality, most loans are going to last longer than four months. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if you want to buy properties as part of your you know, ownership of properties in your fund and you have a $10 million fund, you're going to have a limited amount of properties you can buy with the $10 million fund, unless of course you're buying double wide mobile homes, <laughs> then uh, you probably like have, them. you probably have more money than you need. Yeah, that's right. I like the little cash cash. That's, <laughs> th that, that said, <laughs> what you can do with leverage and there are credit facilities and typically they're banks and hedge funds that will look at your assets mm -hmm. and they will loan against your current assets in the fund and they will leverage them two to one or, or three to one even. So what does that mean? If I have $10 million in assets, they'll give me a $10 million credit line. Yeehoo. Right? Oh, yeah. So now you have the power of $20 million. That's right. Right? But now you as the investor basically were in first position. Right. On the $10 million. Right. Now the credit facility is in first position and you're now in second. Yowza. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. If you had twice the earning potential mm -hmm. being in leverage, that's right. Then your yield or your return should be a lot higher. Including what you pay them as being in first position, right? On uh, the line. No, that has nothing to do with it. Oh. But good try. <laughs> your same amount of money will have a higher yield because it has much more buying power gotcha. and earning power. Gotcha. They're, they're basically doubling your, your money, but your money hasn't really doubled, just your earning power has right. doubled. Right. Uh, the downside to this is if you're using an IRA to invest in this, um, the IRS, as I said in an earlier episode, does not like leverage. Right. So they're going to, or you're going to be subject to, Unrelated you business income taxes. Tax. So right. you may have to pay 45% of your profit based on the amount of leverage. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's 45% of your earnings. It's 45% of whatever you would have earned based on the additional leverage. Okay. So it's real fun to try and figure out. <laughs> Glad I don't have to do it. <laughs> Once again, not a tax person. That's right. Or an accountant. <laughs> You now, know people who are. <laughs> as I was saying, the benefit of that is you, you have twice the buying power, right. twice the earning uh, potential. The downside comes is that, uh, let's say, for example, the uh, most of these credit facilities are they're only, they're they're like a line of credit. Right. They're only available for a finite amount of time. Right. And then you have to refinance that, mm -hmm. or you have to get an extended. Mm -hmm. And there are no commercial banks out there. If you ever got a commercial loan, you can't get a loan 
that is a 30 year fixed on any kind of commercial product. Right. It's usually a you know, five years or seven years. Renewable. They may give you payments based on 30. 15 or yeah. 20 or 30, mm -hmm. but the loan is only for a finite period of time. Why? Because markets change and they don't want to be locked into a long-term contract. Right. Okay. So I'll give you an example of a fund that I know of that had leverage through a large bank. We all know who they are. I'm not going to say who, but they're, they're one of the big three. And they love America. Everything. <laughs> they love that so anyway, everything was fine. They were going to extend it. And this was in 2008 as things were going down. Mm -hmm. Good they're going to, right. They were, they were going to extend, extend, extend. And then when mm -hmm. they got right down to it, they said, yeah, no, nope, we're not extending. Now you owe me the other 10, you know, the $10 million we loaned you. Yeah. Well, it's already out in debt. It's already out in loans. What do you do? Well, at the same time, we're going through a big crash, right? And the assets that were currently under management, the assets that were loaned against, those people were having trouble. Right. And they were doing, they were having to do a lot of foreclosures and the mm -hmm. ones that weren't being foreclosed on, they couldn't sell them anyway, even them. if they were paying them, mm -hmm. well, they couldn't sell them because the values keep going down. Right. Right. <laughs> so what happens is you as the investor are getting paid nothing because all the money goes to the credit facility first, mm -hmm. that waterfall we were talking about, that, that waterfall agreement means that uh, leverage gets first income. And then when payouts come, they get the first part of that. Mm -hmm. So you're getting nothing. So as an investor, you're not making any money and you can't get your money out. Mm. So how's that? Not too good. <laughs> so there's dangers there. Where do there. I sign? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, the, the reason that we bring this up is because when you're reading those PPMs, mm -hmm. almost all of them, and ours included, says that we can get leverage if we want as the management company. Right. We can choose to do leverage. Now we choose not to do leverage right. because of that, that same interest, same thing that happened to uh, our friends in 2008. Right. Now we're at a point now where everything is really good and you know, you could utilize leverage, but you, you never know what happens. So it's a tough decision. It works out for some, you don't have to get three to one. You can, you don't have to get two to one. You could just get a little bit more and make sure you still do the leverage, but make sure that it's small enough to where it's not going to hurt you terribly right. if they call it due or they, they, they can't get it uh, right. uh, refinanced or extended. Right. So that's aren't exciting. you all cheered up? That's exciting. <laughs> Looking forward to signing up for that. But <laughs> what we want to do is we want to make sure that you're looking at your PPMs in the right way and asking the right questions and understanding the ramifications, both on the positive and the negative. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, make up your own mind. There's it a risk. Mind. It's yeah. a risk going into anything. There, there, yeah, there's a it, risk with a any risk. type of an investment. Yeah. Um, but you, you have to look at all the possibilities and understand what's going on. Right. If you're with a good manager, they're going to explain it to you. And by the way, this same fun that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, they went through some tough changes mm -hmm. with this because they had, like I said, they had investors that weren't earning anything. Right. And they had to wait through this. And eventually they, as a matter of fact, I was just recently told that they just finished selling their last asset mm. and they retained almost all their investors and almost all their investors that didn't, you know, get out early or right. try to get out early. Got their, money, got their right. money back. Plus they made money. Yeah. Yeah. Even though this was the worst catastrophic thing that could have happened. Right. But it's all about relationship, yeah. communication, making sure that you're transparent with the investors that are in your fund yep. and just being all out honest, whether they like what you're saying or not, you've got to be able to, to, to really be honest and carry that relationship with, with strong, thorough communication on what's going on really making sure that the, the folks in your fund understand every side, everything that you're dealing with. And if you gain that kind of trust and relationship with people, you can go a long way because you yep. can do much better in a group than everyone out there buying for themselves. Right. Absolutely. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. That's right. Uh, we do have some more episodes in other places if you want to find them somewhere around us. Sides. Yeah, you click on them. Uh, our website is carolinahardmoney.com. You click on the investor tab. Or if you're looking to borrow money, we've got line out money. Yeah, because we do give them. loans as well, don't we? Yeah, well, we need the money <laughs> in order to make loans. That's right. That's right. <laughs> have a wonderful Do you know what we're uh, going to talk about next time? I, I don't know. Let's figure that one out. We were talking about it earlier. <laughs> Neither one of us wrote it down. So I the might next have. episode will be a surprise. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Have a great day. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you had a good time. Got a little <laughs> knowledge as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. And if you like to see some more episodes, uh, you can go over here or perhaps up here or perhaps down here. But there's a place to press to get to the other episodes. <laughs> Enjoy.